as the consequence of removal of fuel subsidy continue to unfold, an increasing number of Nigerians have been compelled to forgo their personal vehicle for commercial transportation, commonly referred to as taxis. This shift, according to them, is seen as a means of addressing the challenging circumstances across the nation. In an interview conducted by ITV News Crew, various opinions emerge with certain individuals expressing their dependence on public transportation. I went to public transport too. Why? Well, if I use my own, the price now, the money will be high. Okay. So I went to public transport. I would prefer that instead of uh, having our own car, using our own car, yes. prefer to enter the public because the fuel price is too much. I'm using it to do small, small kabu kabu. Okay. That's why. That's why I'm using. Otherwise, if not private, I will pack it because I, I can never get anything. So instead, I, I will like this one now. If I, if I'm not the owner. Eh? I'm the owner, not to say I'm driving to anybody. Yes. That's why I'm using it to just do when I go one trip or one, two trip, I go, I pack. In as much as the hack and the fuel price, okay. it is more comfortable. Okay. It is more easier for me to get my destination as fast as I want. Not mine. Some others are, however, optimistic that things will get better as they call on the administration of President Bola Tinibu to ensure they come up with measures to ease the hardship. I want government to do something to reduce the fuel price so that everybody will cope. Because of this fuel, then, matter other people at, at home, they are not working. We are not used to it at all. Because the situation is too terrible. So we are calling on government to help us to help us out. Because the way it is now, but it's not easy at all. Because most of people now, those who have to come to work five times in a week, they are, they are, some of them are coming three times. And especially those people that uh, their salary, maybe they are still they are paying their workplace, is no more than 18 or 20,000. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It's not fine. It's not good for us. It's not good for us. We are crying. We are in hell. Now I have a very big hope that sooner or later, what Nigerians need is a little bit patience to allow the man to prove himself. The Chicago guy will do something good. It is hoped that the President Nibu led administration has good intention towards its citizens, prioritizing their well being and prosperity. Juliet Dengiwa, ITV News.